Welcome back YouTube. We have Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews. And in today's video, I'm going to do a speed test between Google's nearby share versus Apple's AirDrop. I have four different devices here. I have the Pixel 4 XL, the Pixel 3 XL to test the nearby share. And here I have the 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 7 Plus to test Apple's AirDrop. I will be using the same file to test the speed of both features. I will be using a video around 550 megabytes. So now let's see how AirDrop and Nearby Share will perform. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. When it comes to Nearby Share, I will be using the Wi-Fi only option because this is the fastest one based on my previous speed test. When it comes to AirDrop, there is nothing to change here. You can only change the visibility of the device and that's it. The Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro Max are on the latest beta versions available, which is Android 11 Beta 3 and iOS 14 Beta 5. The Pixel 3 XL and the iPhone 7 Plus are on the latest stable versions, which are Android 10 on the 5th of August security batch and iOS 13.6.1. Now let's start with the nearby share. I will be transferring a video of 1 minute and 44 seconds. This video is downloaded to the device. As you see here, it says delete from device because it's already downloaded and the size is 568 megabytes. Now let's start the transfer process. So I'm going to hit accept and the stopwatch together. So as you see, it took 32 seconds to transfer a 568 megabytes file. Now let's see how AirDrop will perform. Now let's start the same transfer process using AirDrop. I will be transferring from the 11 Pro Max to the iPhone 7 Plus. And as you see here, it, see, it says delete from device and the same size 568 megabytes. Now let's start the transfer process. As you see, AirDrop took only 11 seconds to transfer the same exact file. But if you're going to add the file preparation part before the transfer took place, it was around 14 seconds. So that will be a total of 25 seconds, which is still faster than nearby share. Now let's sum up everything. Based on the previous results, there are a couple of things worth mentioning. First, nearby share is a lot faster than what it used to be. Because I did a similar speed test right after the release, and a file like this would take around 50 to 55 seconds to be sent over, but now it's taking almost half of that time, but still not as fast as AirDrop. Second, the time the iPhone took to prepare the file before sending will always take place every time you use AirDrop. And that's why I added the preparation time on top of the transfer time. One more thing I wanted to test before ending this comparison, I wanted to see if nearby share is as fast as other third-party apps, so I installed an app called Send Anywhere, which is one of the fastest apps for sharing files. Now let's see how much time it's gonna take to send the same video. So here I have both devices ready and I'm gonna highlight the same video, which is this one. And I'm gonna tap on Send. And on the Pixel 3 XL, I'm gonna scan the code and then start the stopwatch once it's ready. Yeah. 
Here you go, it took 32 seconds, which is the exact same time as Nearby Share. It means that Nearby Share is on par with other third party apps, and the reason for being slower than AirDrop could be related to the hardware or the operating system. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my speed test between Google's Nearby Share and the Apple's AirDrop. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. So I hope you like my video, and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.